Hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Now today's video is going to be taking a look at the brand new clues that we saw get dropped today both in the Hunter official discord and on their social media pages. There's a couple of brand new images that do appear to be of the new map and I'm just really excited to talk about them and to talk about some of the stuff that's been being discussed in the Hunter official discord as well. So let's start off by taking a look at this post that was posted earlier today in the Hunter official discord. So it says, hello Call of the Wild Hunters, the hype train has left the station and the month of May is going to be a big one. Read on to hear about what happened during Tuesday's stream, clues and the community creators program 2.0. Now, if we go down this post a little bit, there's something interesting to read. It says, It's also been great fun watching all the guesses and ideas flooding the Clues channel in Discord. These hints could be anywhere and not necessarily in-game. Something to think about. Now, there's some really interesting stuff there and we also do hear some more about the upcoming Waterfowl rework. So, again, more stuff pointing towards the Waterfowl rework. So, again, that's really exciting. So this is the first of the couple of new images that got shared today and as we can see there is a mallard duck flying above a really nice looking scenery of lo lots of trees, there's a watchtower there sort of towards the back, but this does appear to be a brand new image. There was some discussion as to whether this was actually an image of Leighton Lakes, but as many people pointed out the skyline really doesn't actually match up with Leighton Lakes at all. And also, if you take a look at the mallard itself, it does appear to look different to the mallards that we actually have in Call of the Wild at the moment. It looks to be almost like a remodeled duck. So are we possibly going to see some remodeling for the mallards like we did for, say, the black bears? Maybe they're going to get sort of higher definition, better looking models, because that one definitely looks different and definitely looks more realistic. So again, pointing towards the waterfowl rework, but I was pretty confident that, that was an image of a new map but then this one also got shared on some social media pages for the hunter call of the wild now there was no doubt in my mind that this is an image of a brand new map once again we do see a mallard featured in this image and again to me that screams that they're pointing towards the waterfowl rework quite heavily but there's just no doubt in my mind that this is an image of a new map the vegetation looks different there's nowhere in game that i can think looks like this image and when I saw this image, I was actually really excited because this really does look beautiful. This is an absolutely beautiful capture. And with the mallards sort of being there on the rocks, does this mean that ducks might actually be able to walk around on land? That would be a really interesting thing to see because at the moment, we normally only ever see them in the water or in the air. So I think that would be really interesting if they do add that as a feature. Maybe they'll have feed zones on land. Now, like I said, there was some discussion around that first image I showed as to whether that image had been taken on Leighton Lakes. So I decided to head out onto Leighton myself and just take a look at the skyline. And as you can see, in a lot of places, we do have these sort of big mountains that would probably be in the background of that screenshot if it was indeed on Leighton Lakes. And also the watchtower doesn't look like the ones on Leighton from what I was seeing. So I really do believe these are both images of a new map. I believe we have had four images of this new map and that those are the clues because there was some discussion as to whether there were clues in game to go and find. So that was also really interesting that that got mentioned in that post earlier today. Now, Bush League Hero in the Hunter Official Discord put all of the four pictures together as a post and Jaxie Beard actually pinned it. As you can see here, they are in the pinned images section. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't fit all of the four images there, but all of the four images we've discussed, both in the previous video, those two and the ones today, were pinned. And then you can see these messages from Jaxie Beard, slip of the finger perhaps, and the angel, sort of angel face emoji. So I do believe that all of those images that we have been discussing are indeed, they are clues. So the two, like I said, from my previous video talking about those two images and the two from today. And there's just so much that I really want to talk about. Like I said, I think it would be really interesting if that one image does point to the fact that ducks might be able to now interact with land and not just with water and the air. 
and the waterfowl rework is so desperately needed. Since the recent update that ended up causing the waterfowl to be bugged, you can see that they're not in the best condition in-game at the moment. Their flying is really, really weird, and you'll end up finding some that are, like, hovering over the ground, which I will show as well in this video as we're going along. So that waterfowl rework is desperately, desperately needed. And I think if they are timing it to go along with a new map that's going to be waterfowl focused, I think that this could be like really good timing for that. And I do believe that's probably what this is going to be. Now, as to whether, like, to where this map is going to be located, I've seen a ton of interesting suggestions. I've seen a lot of North America suggestions, but I've also seen a lot of European map suggestions. And the more I see sort of images and the more I look into it myself, I'm leaning towards that it might be somewhere like Sweden, you know, somewhere in Europe where there's a lot of waterfowl hunting. I just, it, I don't know, I don't think it's going to be North America now, which was something I talked about in my previous videos that I kind of expected it to be North America. But I don't know, I, I kind of feel like they might be going a different route with this and I kind of feel like it might be a European location. And if it is, I think that'll be really interesting. And also... If it is a new map in somewhere like Europe, what other new species could there be? I've seen a lot of people asking for beavers. That would be really cool as a new species. Um, Capercaillie, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, which are a really, really cool game bird. If there's, you know, in some of the locations, maybe they could have those as a another new species. There's a, a lot of really interesting potential. Now, my biggest hope for this waterfowl rework is, of course, to see these kind of bugs disappearing where you will have just seen me shoot a couple of ducks out of the air with the 22 there. And unfortunately, it seems to be since the, the ducks got kind of bugged with that recent update where sometimes when you shoot them, if they go over water, they don't like float to the edge like they're supposed to. They kind of just sink. And that's what happened with those two there. Unfortunately, they didn't uh, float over to where I was. So unfortunately, I couldn't claim them. And as you can see, we do have some ducks here sort of at the edge of the water that are just hovering, which is just it's very, very, very strange to see. And obviously not at all realistic. I would really hope to see a lot more realistic behaviour coming in with this waterfowl rework. Maybe with the zones, maybe they won't be as static. And maybe the waterfowl can roam a bit more. They won't just always appear at the same feed zone or something like that. Maybe you'll just have a lake as a feed zone for a lot of birds in general. Um... I think that could be a really interesting thing to see and I think that again would make it a little bit more like classic and I really just want to be able to hunt waterfowl like by setting up a blind and decoys and calling them in and shooting them with shotguns. I really don't enjoy just sniping waterfowl with the 22 and because that's pretty much the most efficient way to hunt them. I, I find that kind of disappointing. I, like I said, I really like how you hunt them in classic. You really sort of look around and you see where there's birds flying over, kind of make note of that and you make sure that you set up your, your spots in like a good location to try and get as many birds coming over as possible. And I really, really like that aspect. It kind of makes you feel more involved with the hunt where, you know, at the moment we just sort of run around and call the wild and, oh, there's a level three duck and snipe it with a 22 and that's it. And I just feel like that kind of also reduces the trophy value of these animals. Like I've said in a previous video, a lot of people go, oh yeah, it's, it's a diamond duck. Or, oh, it's a rare duck. And no one really sort of pays that much attention to it. It's not as cool necessarily as finding other diamonds, it seems a lot of people think. And I really like, you know, finding diamond waterfowl and that. I think they're cool, cool species and really beautiful. Like, you just take a look at one of these male mallards. They're really stunning birds with that bottle green head and the, the hues of blue in there as well. They're, they are gorgeous. But they're just so undervalued because of how easy, uh, you know, how easy it is to just take one like that. And that female there I thought was a, <laughs> I say a rare loosely because rare ducks aren't very rare. They're pretty, pretty much just uncommons and they're pretty common at that. But that female did look to be something other than your standard common. I thought she might be a piebald. So that's why I took that one there. 
But again, this isn't how you should hunt ducks. This, you know, you want to call them in and have have that excitement of seeing a flock come in and oh, will they break? Will they not? Which ones are going to come in and actually be able to be shot? And I really like that aspect. So that's something I'd hope to see. I also really hope that similar to other animals, they do sort of a rework for the plumage types, like they did for the fur types for certain animals. Make things like this piebald female really rare you know and give it a, like a real value i want it to be something difficult to find because that's something that keeps me coming back to the game if there's a rare that i can't find uh, i'm looking at you albino raccoons that i just cannot find it keeps me coming back because i want that challenge and i want to find that animal and eventually when i do find that animal because it has been so difficult to find it's like more of a sense of satisfaction whereas if i want a piebald mallard i know i just need to run out on late and then spend five minutes looking and boom i'll find one do you know it's it's that kind of feeling of achievement and unfortunately there's not so much of that feeling at the moment and i think this would be a really good opportunity for that to be changed because that's been something with ducks for the longest time is that you know this should be a rare but it's it's basically an uncommon and like i said a pretty common uncommon at that if that makes any sense so that would be something that would be really interesting to see changed now another topic i've seen being discussed is what if we get a great one mallard because it does seem like they're putting a lot of focus on the mallards you know we've seen them in those pictures a couple of times now so they're putting a lot of focus on them and someone also pointed out that in the social media post the word great had a capital g and so some people started talking about could this mean that we're going to see a great one mallard and honestly i think if we did it could be pretty cool i think a lot of people go a great one duck what you know what are they going to do with that and sort of laugh at the idea but in waterfowl hunting from when i've watched you know watch videos of people waterfowl hunting and i've read things about it it seems like a lot of waterfowl hunters really prize finding a bird that's been banded so in other words a bird that has leg rings on it from you know like a study where it's being followed or something like that i've even seen certain things i think it was on meat eater where they were hunting cranes and they shot a crane that was banded and then they could ring up and actually report that they'd shot that animal so it helped to give information into the study for those birds and from what i've seen like i said finding a bird that's actually got rings on its legs is quite a prized thing so if they were to do a great one mallard it would be in my opinion quite a cool idea if they made it a really like a really big beautiful male mallard maybe even with a unique feather patterning like just make it something really beautiful because they are a beautiful bird as i said before even just as a common they look really beautiful and then give it some like prominent leg rings and then when you mount them in the lodge you'd be able to see that and i think that could be like a really cool feature or maybe just a really old beaten up duck that you can really tell has sort of weathered the years maybe it's got some faded feathers or some broken feathers something like that i think could be really intriguing and i think there's a lot of things that they could actually do with that and i think i honestly would grind for one i would definitely be intrigued and you know i'm not always just interested in finding something that's got the biggest antlers or you know the biggest horns i like to find unusual things or things that are really highly prized like that i think could be worked in in, in a really interesting way so that's kind of my opinions with everything that's going on at the minute like i said it does seem that all four of these pictures which i'll flash them all up at the end now while i'm sort of doing this intro so you guys can see them again these do all seem to be confirmed clues now because they've been pinned in the official discord and normally when stuff gets pinned in there from previous you know previous clues we've seen when stuff gets pinned it does seem like that's like an indication that we're looking at the right stuff so i'd say that these are all clues where this is gonna be is pretty hard to tell like i said i'm suspecting somewhere in europe just based off of a couple of things in the pictures like the vegetation and stuff and i do think it's going to be waterfowl centered but i do expect that we'll see other species in there as well so maybe like three or four new species of ducks and then maybe something like i said like like um the caper 
or beavers as well that you know there's a couple of really interesting things that could come along with that but anyway i'm kind of rambling now but thank you guys so so much for watching please let me know down in the comments what you think i always really love having these discussions with you guys and hearing what you guys think because you know it is, it's interesting and it's fun so thank you all so so much for watching really appreciate everything as always and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you